guys, it's Kevin again, and I have more posters to put up because in this video I'm going to review season four, episode one of the new season of Good Luck Charlie, Duncan Dream House. I'm probably going to put the poster right here. By the way, I'm going to be watching Play a lot tonight. I watched Good Luck Charlie, and then now I'm going to watch The Simpsons, then I'm going to watch Family Guy, and then Mad Men. So I have quite a lot to watch tonight. I'll have all those reviews up. I'll have Simpsons and Family Guy tonight, and then Mad Men tomorrow. But let's just get to um, to the episode. It was very, very funny. I thought it was a really great premiere. And as I said, Good Luck Charlie is the only intelligent show Disney Channel has right now. Like, all the other shows are good. Like, Dog with a Blog is sometimes cute, but it's really stupid sometimes. And I didn't really enjoy Dog with a Blog a lot. So, yeah, that's, that's the thing of Dog with a Blog. I think it's just okay. Um... So let's just get to the episode. Um, the episode was pretty much about um, that, as we know from the last um, season, if you didn't watch it, um, the Duncan's house is like put, and they are now living in a very small hotel room. So um, Bob and Amy go over to the house to check it out to see if anything's wrong with it, you know, to see how it's going and. Bob decides it's time to get a new house, and he has this huge house, it has a swimming pool, it has a pool table and everything, and um, everything seems good, but Charlie really does not want to move. She hears her stuffed animals talking to her, and, you know, any child would do that, you know, Charlie really does not want to move, and she basically um, listens to her stuffed animal, they said, well, if you don't want to move, do what every other child does, just make a mess, and I thought that was really funny, and, um... So Charlie, um, yeah, but, yeah, but, so she listens to the gurgles, um, while she's doing this, and also, um, in the meantime, Teddy is watching the, is Teddy kind of is like, um, we're gonna move, everything's gonna be great, and, um, Teddy and Charlie are watching the Muppets together, and when Teddy falls asleep, and uh, has a dream all about the Muppets. Now, this was my favorite part of the episode. Not just because the Muppets sang, I just thought it was a really great scene. Um, the Muppets were fantastic, by the way, tonight. They were really funny in the episode. I was really glad the way they did it. It fit perfectly. It wasn't, like, random or anything, because this is a very, you know, it's something a child would do. And, you know, it's Teddy definitely has that child in her still, and we definitely saw that tonight, and I thought that was interesting. Um... So yeah, that was there, and basically what happened was um, we saw that the Muppets sang a song about how this is your dream house, and Teddy decides that she does not want to know. She wants to stay in the house. She's going to tell her. She calls her family. She wants to stay in the house. She doesn't want to move. And they decide that they are not going to move. They are going to rebuild the house, and um, everything is going great. I did think the one a local contractor... Um, it was really, really funny, um, because he's like, am I going to be famous on the internet when she was doing the video? He's like, can I tell knock-knock joke? That was really funny. So now let's get to the subplot, which of course was with Gabe, whose voice has gotten increasingly deeper. I, I noticed that. Um, he's saying like they just made his voice is <laughs> right now. I remember when his voice sounded like this, but now his voice is like, <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah. It's it, but I really did enjoy um, Gabe's plot. Pretty much, he pretends to be this guy, um, Ed Johnson. He has been pretending to get room service, and he's pretending to be Ed, Ed Johnson, who is actually a real, who is actually a real person. And he's pretending to be Ed Johnson, and, um, and Bob ends up finding out about this, and they end up going to a local banquet, and um, he ends up giving a speech. But the real Ed Johnson shows up there, and I thought that was really funny how that all worked. And Bob's like, we blew our cover, let's go. That was really funny. I thought that was really great, and I just thought that was great. So, yeah, I really love this episode. I thought that it, great, that it was had a great message with the dream house and everything. With you know, even though that's your house, you need to stay in that house. Kind of remind me of the Full House episode. Um where they were going to move, and they decided not to move. Definitely was like that, but I thought this was a lot stronger than that episode, because that's not one of my favorite episodes in the series. I mean, yeah, it, it was still a good episode, but this was definitely a lot better than that. I really enjoyed this episode tonight, and yeah, so 
Good luck, Charlie's Gray, and I'm really glad I reviewed it, so I hope you enjoy this review. Oh, the next episode, Teddy is going to get a, a guy who looks exactly like Spencer, and she's going to realize she is not over Spencer. So, see you guys in the next video, which will be my review of Doctor Who. So, see you then. Bye!